Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here at the Villas at the Disneyland Hotel. Yes, we're doing a staycation. Oh, yeah. Now, this property, this tower just opened up, did it? It right? did. Uh, it opened uh, maybe not even a week ago. Yeah. It's actually opened on Thursday. Today is a Tuesday or Monday. Today yeah. is a Monday. You talk about uh, September 28th. September 28th. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was the grand opening day. So yeah. we're just here just a few days after that. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're here for a couple nights. We are. Uh, we'll give you a room tour as mm -hmm. soon as uh, we we go off of this. Right, and we're going to check out the new tower. Then we're going to go into downtown Disney and uh, go check out one of our eating places over there and see what we're going to catch. Right. Like, what to eat over there. Yeah, because this tower doesn't have a restaurant. No, it doesn't. Right? Not yeah. yet, at least. It's supposed to open. There is a restaurant in this tower, but it won't open until later October. Yeah. There's no lobby inside this tower. Correct. You have to go to the main Disneyland Hotel lobby and at the entrance you can see what a grand uh, entrance they have with the balloons and the special carpet and i think that has to do with launching this new tower correct mm -hmm. right and this tower it is absolutely stunning yes so we're going to walk around uh go to their they have a separate pool go look at the pool right have it. Mm -hmm. yeah it will also give give you a mixture of some nighttime views and right now some some daylight shots yeah. And see those color palettes on the side of the tower. There's a story behind that, which we'll show you yes. over there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you ready? You ready to walk around? Yeah. Welcome to the villas at the Disneyland Hotel. Look at this wallpaper. And it's all shiny and everything. Here's our room. 505. Oh, hey, come on in. We just checked in. The door might slam. Yeah. We just checked in. Uh, the Disneyland Hotel Villas, or mm -hmm. the Villas at Disneyland Hotel. Uh, we got room 505. As soon as you come in through the door, this is all brand new. Um, give them a tour of the bathroom. This is the bathroom. This is really cool. This lights up. We're in a Sleeping Beauty themed room, and so you have this right above your mirrors this nice shower i love the colors of this as well and of course a lot of the scenery from sleeping beauty and the colors look at that such dark so dark ready come, yeah now come on into the main area we have a full mirror here our climate control panel is there this is a deluxe studio prefer view so because it is part of the, the disney vacation club studio they all get like a mini kitchenette. So that includes some silverware, real glasses, dishes, coffee cups. And on this side, an ice bucket, a toaster. Microwave. Yeah, a microwave. Mm -hmm. Of course, a little mini sink. First time we're going to try it on. There it goes. Inside here, we have paper towels and some dishwashing soap and sponge right behind it. We have a mini fridge with a little freezer. So you could bring your Mickey Pops in here and keep them nice and cold. The ice cream bars. Here's the Keurig coffee mm -hmm. that and they two give you. Condiment kits. And condiment kits, and that's the coffee maker. Another full length mirror, which is part of a slide. So when you open it, you have more Sleeping Beauty theme. Really neat. Lots of hangers. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And on this side. Oh, look, it's you have your you have your work shoes. My work shoes. Extra pillows on top. Right. That's the safe. Pretty good size. You easily fit like a I don't know, 17, 19 inch laptop in there. Mm -hmm. Steam, Steam iron. Steam iron. And I'm not sure what this is, just to give little Baby's a no, bath, it's maybe? No, it's a laundry basket. Oh, oh okay. It pops open, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it pops open. Nope, the other way, baby. Push it down. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Look at that. Laundry basket. Yeah. And we'll show you the laundry room if you're going to spend a week here or so. <laughs> he's, oh, to, he's, he's struggling there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it comes with the uh, ironing board as well, so go ahead and back up a little bit. <laughs> this is a uh, queen-size bed. Lots it of sleeps room. four. Mm -hmm. You're saying, and hey, where do the other two people sleep? Lots of room on the bottom for, for, for luggage. Yes. Look at this. This is a, um, what is it called? It's like actually a, a name. Like a trundle or a pull down. Uh, Pullman? Yeah. Pullman? It's something like that. 
No, I think it's another name for okay. it. Okay. what it was. But check it out. Really meant for a couple of people, unless you're like strong like me. Whole. Oh. And we're down. Look at that. Another queen size with the Sleeping Beauty artwork. That's really cool artwork too. It is. Now, how many different theme rooms are there here? Uh, like at four least, or five. You're mm -hmm. right. And each one is specific. Like the Jungle Book, I think Frozen and... Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Uh, there were some other ones. Yeah. yeah. But this is very... Looks very comfortable. And it folds up out of the way. Like that. And this is a preferred view room. Right. See, that one just rolls in place. And, oh, and that's a storage, actually. It is. That cushion mm -hmm. comes up as well. And right behind you, we hear that, barely hear that Sleeping Beauty uh, music. These are splash screen. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. These are regular drawers. Six drawers. We have two little seats and a makeup mirror with a light. And there's tons of outlets everywhere. There's outlets here. There's outlets on the side of the beds, on both sides. There's outlets in here as well. Oh, you know what's cool about the outlets is one USB-A and one USB-C mm -hmm. on each one. So they're getting ready for the upgrades. One little sit-down couch here and the view. This is the preferred view. It is of the pool. You can see down there, there's the new splash pad of Steamboat Willie down there. This is the pool on this side. Now, of course, we'll go downstairs and uh, give you a lot better view of the way everything looks. But this is it. This is the uh, the Villas at Disneyland Hotel, the Deluxe Studio room with the preferred view. I think it's called Duo Studio. Duo right? Studio, D-U-O. Mm -hmm. Now, how much did you pay for this room with your cast member discount? About $5.50 a night. $5.50 a night. So it, it's definitely not cheap. That's with the discount. I believe it's around $900 mm -hmm. uh, if anyone wants to make a reservation here. But this is mostly a Disney Vacation Club property tower. But they do have uh, rooms available uh, rack rate. to get mm -hmm. right for rack rate. Yeah, so that's it. Hope you like this tour. Now we're going to go downstairs and check out the rest of the property. This is the splash pad. Really cool. You can have little ones just crawl on around. And what I really like about this splash pad, it has Steamboat Willie. Oh, right here. So they make it look like the actual steamboat. And you could just run through here. It looks like a lot of fun. In fact, we, we might try to, you know, go around this uh, water and the pool. Yeah. Maybe either tonight or tomorrow. We'll see. Right? But yeah, just the design. I wonder if it gets lit up at night. I think it does. Yeah, look. Very cool. And you, you know what I love the most about this whole thing is everything is brand new. It is. I'm going to start taking my pictures. These behind me are the bungalows that used to that play homage to the old bungalows that Disneyland Hotel had. Now yeah, they're pretty cool. The modern ones, of course. Yes, and uh, right behind me is the pool. Yes. Pretty good sized pool. It says it um, occupies 133 people. So as you enter, it's not very deep three feet six inches and then on the far end is that four feet and that's the maximum depth of the pool so it goes from three point or three feet six inches to four feet and I'm curious what the water temperature is I don't know if it's uh, a heated hot pool or just a heated cool pool let's try it out I think my knees just cracked. <laughs> so what about the cool side? <laughs> yeah. Temperature right now is 73 degrees, but it is nice blue sky and sunny. But yeah, if, if we were to go in right now, it'd be a little bit chilly. Here are the occupancy and pool hours. So right now it's from nine to nine, which is really good. So you could come in here for a, a late night dip. Yeah, 
Definitely. However, the uh, jacuzzi, the hot is, tub. It's closed for right now. Yeah. But you can see there's towels up there. Right. This is it. The lifeguard was just telling me that uh, they're having some issues adjusting the temperature mm. of it right now. But this depth is at uh, three feet, six inches. It's a big spot too. Yeah, there's the self-serve towels. Yeah, it's pretty good size. Occupancy yeah. 17. Yeah. In here. It's a good size spot. Yeah, uh, we're gonna come back out here later tonight because I know all of these palm trees Are will be, be lit up. Yeah. yeah. And that'll be pretty cool. So right next to the pool is the future bar area. It's still under construction behind that wall. But what's cool that we noticed is next to the water fountains is the filtered water. And you can tell it's brand new. They only saved 26 bottles so far. When you go to the airport, it's into like the 100,000, right? So this is pretty cool. That's where you could fill up your, your hydro flask or your reusable water bottles. What's really cool here that you won't find anywhere else is that these pallets that are on the side of the building, which you can see from afar, they're from the different type of animated features. Right, so if you uh, were to colorize into a palette these movies, that would be the color on this side, and that's what represented along the building. Way up there. So they have a frozen one, they have a jungle book, and then they have a Mulan. Right. So it's all the little details. Was it the Imagineer or the hotel designer that thinks about all this? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, who, who, thinks, who about thinks about it to about that about detail? This? And the colors are just really nice looking. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. So just by looking at this, don't ask me which movie it is. <laughs> Jungle Book is in the middle, babe. Oh, so yeah, if it, if it follows the movie posters, then yes. Frozen is on the left, Jungle Book is on the center, Mulan is on the right. Very cool. In their little hangout area, it's called the Discovery Den. Really nice seating inside and outside they have a tv going i like that fire the fire looks fake oh yeah we'll check it out right here it almost looks like it's uh digitized it does it? but it it's does feel really a little bit warm cool. yeah it's a little warm yeah here's so, an opening oh yeah you can feel the heat coming out of it wow that's that's pretty cool that's really cool yeah, yeah. And um, these tables, they all have power supplies along with the USB-A and a C as well. So this is a nice place to just hang out. This is the layout for the three bedroom grand villa. It sleeps 12 people. Wow. That is humongous. Two levels. And this gives you a picture example of what it looks like from the outside. And you can actually see it from the outside, so we'll show you what it looks like. Yes, and this is an inside shot. So this is um, considered big balling. Big if balling. You, if you have yeah. the three bedroom grand villa. Pretty That's cool. That's crazy looking. Yeah. This is pretty cool. It's the old Disneyland map. It is. This painted mural represents the theming of all the rooms. So there's a there's Sleeping Beauty. We're, we're on the Sleeping Beauty floor. So that's really nice. There's Alice in Wonderland. Here's Moana. There's Jungle Book. There's The Lion King. Oh, yeah. Right and there was there. a lot more than I was expecting. Oh, there's yeah. Aladdin and Snow White. There's Mulan and Encanto. Oh, who's that up there? The robot. Uh, that is uh, B-Max. Big Hero 6, uh, right? Big Hero 6. Yeah. And Tiana, Frozen, and Rhea, and Bambi. Oh yeah, the classics. 
So this wall is pretty cool. It kind is of. pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know if all the rooms are themed everything here, baby. I know oh, yeah. there are six. Yeah. I know there are six or five major themings. Right. I'm right. not sure if it's all of these, but yeah, I, I love this all painting. Of these. Yeah, I, I love the painting though. Right. If they sold this painting, I'd take it home. Oh, I know. It would be like a very, very thin, a thin map, yeah. right? I mean, a thin drawing. And this is the other small lobby like next to the elevators. Yes. Uh, so this is also another seating area. And the guest elevators are where that family is heading toward right mm -hmm. there. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of artwork along here there too is. that would give mm -hmm. you a shot. Inside the walls, they have like the drawing easel, book, old steamboat Willie there. Very cool stuff. You found it. I want you to know if they have it in a photo. Yes, it's already framed and everything. This is what was on the uh, painted wall. That is like Disney in one picture. It's right? a pretty good picture. On the way to the fitness center, we just we realized there are more pallets here absolutely beautiful we're gonna definitely see these at night because i believe they light up it's the first one is alice in wonderland yeah this then is uh, you're going from left to right left to right uh, alice in wonderland then there's snow white and the seven dwarfs the lion king princess and the frog and sleeping beauty beautiful yeah it is so high it looks like they got the whole movie on one column oh trying to get the picture Got the picture, babe. Yes. Very cool. There are big signs that are heading back to the other side of the building, and what we found is the guest laundry. Let's go check it out. We need our, our card key. access. Come on in. Okay, wow. look at that. Oh, they have soap for you. Oh, complimentary. That's pretty good right and there. And you pay for your washer and dryers here. I wonder how much right is here. it? Let's see here. So it tells you which machines are open or in use. Three twenty-five. Okay, it's probably the same for the dryer then. Mm -hmm. And how many machines are there? Uh, there are, let's see 15, here. Two, four, six, six washers. And, and your, 10 dryers. Uh, folding table. Yeah, and a whole wall of dryers. Yeah, it says 325 for, yeah. the, for the dryers. Nice. And I yeah. believe, I think someone had mentioned that if you're here on DVC, I believe you can pick up a wash card or something, and then they do it for free. I'm not positive, but oh. uh, you can definitely check in if you're a DBC member. Yeah, somehow use your points for it. Right? Or something like that, yeah. yeah. So the laundry room is right there, and, and you we're just, gonna take this back way. Yeah, I follow this walkway. The fitness center is back here as well. We're on the hunt. So I'm guessing like a lot of these rooms that you see here, that's like the non-preferred views. Or standard views. And right. look at these have balconies too. Oh yeah. They look straight up for the balconies. So I would have to guess that those are maybe either one or two bedroom right. Uh, suites, right? Yeah, I don't know where the we'll fitness find it. center is. They have two big gas grills here. Now, I don't know how many people is going to run to the market and go grab a couple steaks or burgers, but these are massive. They're Viking Professional Series. Look at that. Look at that grill space. And they're not working yet. No, no, not yet. But you know they will be operational And it gives you soon. all the directions right there. Yeah. All I know is if you start grilling some steaks out here, you're going to make all these people hungry in this area that's downwind from it. So it's pretty cool. So we're still looking for the fitness center. Yeah. So we just followed the walkway around. Yes. Right next to the grill is the fitness center along with uh, ice and vending, trash and recycling. It's also card control to get in here. So let's go.
the smell of new carpet. Gotta love it. So I gotta love the artwork that's alongside the aisle here. Very cool. The ice and vending area. What I like about the ice and vending area is here's your for your ice cup or bucket, but it has its own water dispenser too. Oh, nice. So it gives you even filtered water. Yes. Or the vending machine. And how much are these on average? Let's see. So they have Coke products, Fanta, and Powerade and some juices. Three fifty. It has all the prices down. So three fifty is actually cheaper, I believe, than it is in the parks. And you can take these into the parks. Oh, pro tip. Yeah, cheaper than what the parks charge. What's funny is the trash and recycle room is basically that. Your trash and recycle. <laughs> There's nothing else in this room. Yeah, may maybe and later. Maybe later. Maybe they might put two trash cans you later. You never know. We found the fitness center and it's 24 hours. Yes. And almost everything here is uh, key access. Yeah. So let's go in. Wow, look at that. It's pretty good. Oh, they have um, some towels, some cold, cold towels. towels in here. They and have earbuds. These are oh, earbuds. Nice. Complimentary earbuds. And regular towels. Here are some cups. For yes. thinking water. I don't see a water I machine. I don't see a water machine, but maybe oh, some water. at the far end. Oh, that's yeah, right so over there. Yeah, so we'll give you a kind of a tour of what they have here. Some, uh, what are these called? Bicycle machines? Mm -hmm. And we have some ellipticals. Everybody Treadmills. has a towel. Yeah. And of course the, uh, the restrooms are in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe lockers, I, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe, I'll go walk in there. Yeah. And of course your uh, water and your filter. Oh, and this water. one has been used. Yeah, 393 bottles saved. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. You could give a water fountain test. It could go two ways, nasty or it tastes good. Let's try it out. It's good, very clean water. So yeah, no weird taste out of this drinking fountain. They do have some universal machines here, along with some free weights. And more exercise type of machines. I'm not really sure what these are. And some medicine ball and what are these called? Cowbells, I think. And some rope. Right behind me is the Adventure Tower. Of the Disneyland Hotel. Of the Disneyland Hotel. That building there is the Fantasy Tower. That Fantasy Tower is where the lobby is, where you would check in. This is the big pool. Over in the distance, that's when you see the Discovery Tower. Right in the forefront is Tangaroa Terrace Trader Sam's. And right. off to the left, that blue building there, that is the Frontier Tower. Yes. So the Discovery that's the uh, uh, villas. That, that's the new villas. Yes, that's where we were uh, staying at and gave you the tour so far. So that's kind of like the lay of the land over here at the Disneyland Hotel property. It's a big property. Yes, it is. That does it for the daylight tour yes. or the villas. Mm -hmm. We're going to go grab something to eat at Downtown Disney and then we'll give you a night view of what this property looks like. I can't wait. We are here for dinner. Where yes. are we going to eat at tonight? So we're going to go at Jazz Kitchen, Coastal Grill and Patio. Yes. Uh, we we were here before it closed or before it remodeled. Right. When mm -hmm. it was just, uh, it was Brennan's. actually titled Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Right. So it, I believe Ralph Brennan still has his, uh, his hands in it. Yes. Because he mm -hmm. was here during the grand opening. But yeah, they completely remodeled it. I heard they kept some of their popular menu items. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try some of that out and mm -hmm. maybe something new, you never know. Yeah, I'm starving. I am too. <laughs> I had to try this one. This is Hank's Gourmet Black Cherry. And I had to get the Abita root beer. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Oh, you ought to practice, babe. I know. There, there you, you go. go. Better. 
Oh, delicious. Oh, yeah. Not very sweet at all, but you can taste that really good black cherry flavor. Sweet enough. Oh, yeah. It's really this good. is one of my favorite root beers, yeah. too. It blows away a &W. It does. And we got their new Halloween drink. It had um, vodka in it, right, baby? Uh, and Midori. it had Midori, and it had some orange juice with a gummy worm. Wow. So our server, Jack, recommended this. And I'm glad you did. It looks really good. It looks really you good. Gotta try it out. That is a sugar rim. It tastes. It's really good. You can taste the Midori. A little bit of the Valcom has a little bit of sweet. It kind of reminds me of like a candy. It is really good, baby. Taste it and tell me what candy it reminds you of. Does it give you that spooky feeling? Uh, no. But it's good. To me, it's not that sweet. It's like my, my root beer is sweeter. Um, great taste of Midori. We're, we're fans of Midori. Vodka, yeah. Tiny bit of vodka kick to it. It's a good drink. But what candy it tastes like. It tastes like a candy to me. Yeah. Can you figure it out? No. No? <laughs> but it's good though. It's crazy. It comes with a gummy worm. How can you say no? Yeah. It is spooky. Here's the menu right here. It's a, not a big menu, but everything looks absolutely delicious. There's like several things I want to try, but we've narrowed it down and now we're waiting for the first portion of our food. Okay, these are the ones we're starting off with. This looks pretty legit right here. This is a seafood gumbo lala, gold shrimp, Pacific rockfish, crawfish, simmered in Trinity tomatoes, okra, gumbo filet. It celebrates the best catch from each coast. Wow. It, it smells divine. It looks delicious. This looks legit. Yes. This looks like New Orleans in a bowl right this here. This is all seafood, so there's no chicken or andouille sausage in this one. Correct. So I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Look at that roux in there with that holy trinity and that filet. Oh yeah. Let's try this one out. This is legit. They even have a entree portion of this, but this is a perfect portion for us to share. And you can taste the, that rockfish, very hearty. That shrimp just pops in your mouth. And what the winner is, is this filet right here. The Trinity and that gumbo filet, those spices in there, along with the okra. If you know okra, you have to have in a, in a Mm. And the okra, you have to have it in a gumbo. Yeah, you know what? A, a lot delicious. of places that serve gumbo skip out on the okra. They I do. Noticed. They do. And for some people, I can think I can see it's an acquired taste, but it just matches this gumbo perfectly. So we went from New Orleans to the West Coast. This is a lettuce wrap, fried crawfish lettuce wrap, buttermilk marinated crawfish gem butter lettuce, sweet chili garlic sauce, pickled red onion, cilantro, and lime. That is a mouthful. Yeah, this looks beautiful. I can't wait to dig on in. I'm gonna have you try this one, babe. I took a bite of the gumbo. It is delicious. It does pack a little bit of heat though, so just be forewarned that if you are very sensitive to spiciness, it may not be for you, but if you don't mind that little Louisiana kick, this is delicious. Yeah. And it tastes like New Louisiana in a bowl. It does. They nailed it. Delicious. Here we go. Let me try these lettuce wraps out. They give that, what was this, some kind of a spicy? That it's like a, a chili. Yes, I can a see some. A sweet chili. Yeah, I can see some chili floating in there. Let me drizzle some in there. Oh, yeah. And then get some of that lime. It's like covered with like tahini or something. I yeah, mean. there we go. Wow, I'm excited to try this. Look at all that crawfish in here. They're like they're like falling out. 
almost like those overstuffed po' boys in New Orleans. They just, they just fall out. Here we go. I don't know if it's because that I'm starving, but this is one of the best lettuce wraps I've had. Oh, really? That crawfish that's deep fried in that batter, this is the exact kind of batter that comes with the shrimp po' boys. It is very light and crispy, not too heavy on the batter. That sweet chili sauce gives it the right amount of kick. Of course, that lemon and I mean the lime and tahini is just the topper on this. This is delicious. If they put this filling in like the uh, what is it called the uh, bread the the Liedenheimer mm -hmm. bread, the po' boy, yeah, it would be an excellent po' boy. Yeah, I would recommend this if you're uh, here at the Jazz Kitchen. They have so many things on the menu, but I had to do it. The tried and true. The barbecue shrimp and grits. Look at this grits. So nicely cooked. That shrimp on top. And they don't skip on the shrimp. There's a lot of shrimp here. Let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. That roux. That's it. It's buttery. It's flavorful. It has all of those flavors in there. The grits are cooked perfectly. What I need is some of that Lindenheimer bread and the soak up all of this sauce right here. Yes, that's what you're missing yeah. is the bread. We're missing the bread. But this is a must get. You're going to come here. I'm glad they didn't change this. They changed the look of the place. They didn't change the name though, but they still have the outstanding food. Try one of those shrimps out. Oh. That's the uh, that's the star of the dish there. Mm -hmm. And I believe they are gulf shrimps too. Yep, and I'm, I'm just talking about the grits and I think it's delicious. Let's try this shrimp, get it all in that juice right there. Here we go. Mm. Those shrimps are sweet, sweet and plump. What I like is you can taste the difference between like shrimps that you would get here in California and gold shrimps. They just hit a little bit differently, which you can taste in this meal. This is, again, a recommended musket. For my entree, I got the grilled medallions of filet. I'm going to use my cheese sheet here. It's got bacon fat bernays, which is this sauce right here. Wow, there's bacon fat in there and some crispy Brabant or Brabant potatoes tossed with onions and seasoned vegetables which happens to be long beans, green beans that are long, they're long green beans. But let's cut into these filet medallions. They asked what temperature I wanted them at and if you know me, of course I said medium. Okay, they hit the temperature of course Let's dip it in to the, uh, to the little gravy or the reduction that they have this with. Here we go. Mm. That is a good reduction sauce. The filet, of course, very tender. I love the little grill marks on here. I'm curious about these potatoes that had the fancy name to it. They're very soft in the middle, almost like mashed potatoes. So these are these are very good. They are not your basic home fries. Let me try some of this uh, fancy Bernays sauce with the with the fillet. See how that is. And you know anything with bacon fat, it's got to be good, right? Whoa! Look at that. It's a lot of sauce. I'm not much of a Bernays sauce person, but this one's not bad. And I could definitely taste that bacon fat in it. So because of that, I like it. Yeah, this is a great dinner right here. Of course, I'm going to share it with you. Did you need the sauce? You do not need the sauce. Because of that, some kind of wine reduction that's on here, that's all you need. Very good. We're ready. 
Oh, wow. Wow, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Look oh. at that. We're stuffed, but we cannot pass up dessert. Yes. What do we get? We got that double chocolate bread pudding, semi-sweet chocolate, white and dark chocolate ganache. So they poured it right on top. It does take some time to prepare. So if you do want this, be sure to order it a little bit in advance. Yeah, we waited maybe 15, 20 minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, exactly. He said it could take up to 25 minutes. Yes. Look so at we're going to go ahead and dig, the, dig on into this. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So we got our a la mode. This is and what it looks like I on the bottom. it costs extra $2 for yes. a la mode. See if I can get some of this in here. Well, my guess is it's pretty hot. Yeah. That's what it looks like on the inside. Wow. The top portion is a nice hard crust. The inside is like molten lava. So we're gonna wait till this cools off and then we're gonna have a bite. Yeah, you know, this is the first time I've seen bread pudding presented like this. Yes. Look at this bread pudding. It's a big bite. I'm gonna go ahead and dig on in. I know that look. It is the look of decadence. A little bit of ice cream. Mm. On the record. This is the best chocolate bread pudding I've had. Wow. The best. It is not extremely sweet. It has that good, rich, semi-sweet chocolate and white chocolate. That ice cream just tops it all off. This is crunchy on the top. It's moist in the center. It is a thing of beauty. And oh, there's yeah. There's plenty of uh, the white chocolate and the semi-sweet chocolate. Left. Yeah. If you want to pour some more on. I know you're gonna be here, you're gonna be full after your meal, but this is a must get. You'll find room in your belly for this. Mm. This is excellent. The Jazz Kitchen. It was delicious. Yeah, I loved it. You know, yeah. we, we ate here before a few yeah. times. Yes. Um, we thought it was very good. Yeah. But this was tonight good. was exceptional. It was, it was. Yeah. Uh, it is busy. This is a Monday night and mm -hmm. it is really busy. And the food is good. The service was excellent. Jack, come and see Jack. Yeah, yeah. you know, well, take good care of you. When we came, it was around 5 30 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got seated right away. We did. Mm -hmm. And right now, I, I overheard a party of two, a little over an hour away right now. Wow, wow. And it's almost 8 o'clock. Yeah, right yeah. Now. So. Mm -hmm. So yeah, come I would early or make reservations. And I would uh, definitely recommend this to anybody. Yeah. If you're able to come down here to Downtown Disney, they have a lot of eateries here. I'd recommend the Jazz Kitchen. Sure. Yeah, it was very good. A little taste of New Orleans. It is. It now is. the good part is we don't have to drive home. No. We're going to walk back to the villas. Yeah. So and let's I'm go check it out tired. tonight. I think I have like food coma, baby. No. We what? have to party tonight. Okay. We are in the Fantasy Tower. This is where you check in, you know, for the lobby portion. You check into your room. This Fantasia shop has all of the different product and stuff for the villas of Disneyland. So we're going to go check out that product. Here's some Disney villa exclusive stuff. My ears. Yeah, exclusives. Double walled. I love these double walled cups. They have tons of them at home, though. So I don't know what I'd use them for, but I love the double walled. You can tell on the bottom. How much are these? This one is $34.99. And the top, what's it look like? The top zipper part? Just like that. So you, you probably have to push you it up. You push right? it up. Yeah, there you go. Push it up. Oh, okay. It pushes up really mm -hmm. easy. They even have magnets. This is a big metal, metal magnet. Look at this, is like an insulated bag, like a lunch bag. Look at And this is how much? The D moves. Fifty dollars. Oh, yeah, eighty bucks. Oh, eighty. Oh, eighty wow. bucks. Uh, the magnets—they're red, so I'm not sure what color code that is for mm -hmm. the price. I forgot. We bought one actually already. Oh, look, see this. Ta da! That's oh, yeah. pretty cool. And thirty-five dollars. And this is a uh, thirty-five. 
Um, yep, thirty-four ninety-nine. And they then do they have, have a couple some, shirts. Mm -hmm, they have a couple shirts. They have a jacket. Back of the jacket. Oh yeah, the the, uh, the logo says mm -hmm. uh, Villas. Front of the jacket. Full zipper. Yep, full on zipper. And how much are those? And um, these are. These are fifty-four. Fifty-four. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Now these are cut, the slender cut. They're big, but they cut the slender cut. If you guys know what I mean, they're not cut wide. So heads up on that one. Um, and we have, have some uh, limited pins here. Limited series pins. Let's check that out. Uh, these are seventeen ninety-nine. It's another in bigger insulated bag. But what I like about this is I was playing. These are a hundred bucks. But you can, the D moves back and forth. The D moves. Now that's See? a reason to buy it right there. Sure. And then zippered. The C inside. Yep. Has all that merchandise so you know it's exclusive to here. And then uh, we got the shirts. I think that's it, huh, babe? Yeah. Uh, this side is the same thing. So, yeah. So, so they do have some uh, limited... Villas, uh, yeah. villas of Disneyland. Oh, they have one more shirt. Hmm? The pinky one. Oh, okay. Here we go. It's got the little knot on the bottom. Yep, and it's uh, these are the women's shirts, all the way up to a two X. And the price? This one is let's see, thirty four ninety nine. Yeah, and these little ones also um, have the movable. Emblem. Yeah, so there you go. There's a lot of other things inside the store as well. Now the vibe is all different here at night. These are the villas of Disneyland Hotel late at night. Let's go follow the trail of pixie dust right yes. inside. This is very cool. I thought somebody spilled something here earlier, but it's not. It's actually a trail. There you go. And it leads you right over here where the star is to the main lobby area. This is where we were earlier. Now all of the color palettes on the corner of the building are all lit up. So right now we're waiting for Tinkerbell to fly down the side of the building. It happens about every 15, 20 minutes. So we're kind of waiting around. There it is. It's like the trail of pixie dust. It's a little blurry. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so that happens uh, every 15 minutes, it looks like. Right against the corner of the Villa Tower next to the swimming pool area for the Disneyland Hotel. Like that, she's gone. We couldn't get to the pool area in time. They closed at 9 and they locked the doors really actually at 9. PM. But here's the shot, the splash pool where the steamboat with uh, Mickey, that's what it is. You can see all the color palettes right in the middle and the pool. Yeah, it looks really nice. We're going to try to go there tomorrow, hopefully before they close. That is a wrap from the villas at the Disneyland Hotel. That was fun. It was yes. fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, it always is cool staring at a brand new property. It is. Everything is fresh, vibrant, new. Yes, and so what was really nice is that I hear since I work here, or not here, but since I work in the area, I've heard of like little issues they've had here and there. We didn't experience any of those issues mm -hmm. at all. So it yeah. was really nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they pretty much iron things out. So yeah. by the time any of you come over here and stay at the villas, mm -hmm. 
should be perfect. And it also gave you a good overview of the eating options that are here. Yeah. So yeah, the, what is what is table service, what is quick service, meaning it's pretty much almost like a grab and go, things like that right. as well. Yeah, so we pretty much gave you everything there is to see here at the Villas yes. as far as our property tour. And uh, yeah, and we had dinner at the Jazz Kitchen Which in downtown delicious. Disney. delicious. Yeah, we could definitely recommend that restaurant. Uh, would I stay here for the price? So my Ooh, price was like five fifty. I think the normal price is between seven hundred to nine hundred per night. Um, it is expensive. You are in kind of like a Disney bubble. It feels like you're in another city when you're staying here. So the convenience of walking to the parks, the convenience of the pools, the convenience of everything. I don't know, would that be worth it for you guys to yeah. stay here? Now, of course, you know? the Disney Vacation Club people, they're using points. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I think it's worth using the points to stay over Definitely. here. Definitely. But for the money, Maybe, that, that's it's up to steep. you. It's kind of steep. It's yeah. kind of steep. Yeah. But, yeah, if you're doing a Disney Vacation Club, if you're doing points, I know that weekends are very hard to find, but weekdays are a lot easier. If you mm -hmm. even can use... Uh, your points to stay one night it's definitely worth it oh yeah yeah and there's plenty of things to do with downtown disney and the two parks right here mm -hmm. and you don't even have to visit the parks actually no, you don't have so to. if you're local you just come here and and this is a full day you yes. know just to come here and play around right so uh yeah uh yeah shout out Spade. i do uh leonard happy birthday bonnie hansen happy birthday michael c happy birthday andy happy birthday and leonard and tammy happy anniversary all right that's it babe happy birthday happy anniversary so that's it from here at the Villas at the Disneyland Hotels until our next adventure. We'll catch you on the next one.